I think the point of Hedda Gabler is that she's a mystery. That's probably why the play has endured so long uh, and why she's often compared to Hamlet. I remember when I first heard about it, I kind of thought, why, is she, why are they comparing her to Hamlet? Why are they comparing her to a male in a 500-year-old play, 400-whatever-year-old play? But I think the point is that we've sent, spent centuries trying to decipher Hamlet and his behaviour and what he's up to. And I think we kind of do that, the same thing with Hedda Gabler. She's such a mass of contradictions. She has a husband who she's recently married to, who she doesn't seem to be attracted to in any way. She's sort of married for, for reasons of her societal standing or for, because of the fact that she kind of felt it was time to get married. She also has a, a potential lover, an older man. And then she has an old flame who kind of is the, the, the more poetic, artistic side of her. The problem with Hedda is she can't, she wants each of these things and at the same time wants none of these things. I knew some of his Ibsen's plays and I'd been talking with Annabelle Cullen, the director, about we were talking about doing something together, maybe an adaptation, and we were sending each other plays for a while and I came upon Hedda Gabler and read it and sort of, again, it was the mystery of I couldn't figure out this play and I couldn't figure out this character. A great part of what I thought the process would be was the actual discovering who she was, but you sort of learn pretty quickly that you can't solve her. All you can do is sort of represent her uh, in, in, in your own way. So it becomes a little bit easier than that. And your only obligation is to make her real from moment to moment and to make her behaviour real from moment to moment and not to give answers to her behaviour. <laughs>